y'all, this is Dee Dee with My Favorite Groomer, and I'm here at Jill's house, and we're doing the nail trim. With the, uh, remember she held that one time on the couch? Okay, so Dad usually holds, and he's home, he's gonna hold, but this is how I think you should handle uh, when you're working with a very aggressive animal. Um, pet parents involved, pet parents learn the whole, this is, they know the whole routine, he's really good at it, and then this is how it's gonna go. So here we go. All right, Dad. And Jill, we use a towel, we use towel, Yes, I worked towel te technique. Towel technique works. Oh, going back Last here. time, you're my shadow. Okay. okay. So just act like you're just me, and you're just right behind me. That way, um, we get the best video we can. It's very scary, okay? But uh, someone has to do it, and I come to their house, and they pay extra for that. And then uh, we have we, you have to learn the dog, and with him, a couple different techniques have helped us. We used to do it out on the patio, and we've moved it into the bathroom. And now we do sometimes a towel over his head just so the dog's not really looking at me. And then I'm not really talking like that. I don't want the dog to be looking at me, but he's very, very mean, very aggressive. Like no, con no contact, no eye contact. She does pretty good too. She's, she's a lot better here. Okay, here we go. So dad's got the hold down. He's really good at the hold. Feet hanging good girl, down. Good girl. Feet good hanging girl. down so I can access all the feet without actually really getting it in deep with the dog. Dad, do we normally turn her around? Do we flip her or do I pull that other No, you need to pull her. Okay. I think that's when she gets a little. Okay, here we go. Yeah, she did great today. Okay, so uh, she does a lot better. What I have found is I have to do a lot of these aggressive nail trims. It's usually because someone else has done the vein, hit the vein a lot, like over and over. And now I have to come in and I get it right at the vein. I know what I'm looking for because I've been doing nails for alone for so long. Over 10 years, just nail trim every weekend. So that's a long time doing nails. Um, you have to know what you're looking for. If you're out there and you're quicking every dog's na nail, you got to stop because I get those dogs and then I have to rehabilitate them and let them learn trust. If You can hit a vein every now and then, but every dog, every vein, every nail is, is wrong. And I say that because a lot of people do it. They don't really know what they're looking for. They just accidentally hit the vein all the time. That causes this, this kind of stuff, which is why they had to hunt me down. I, don't, I can't remember now how they found me, but um, they, they did have to find me. Work fast. It's okay. Towel? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's in the mirror. Let's see. Really? I said he just looked back behind him. He did look at the mirror. Look at him. Feel ready. He looked in the mirror. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Okay. 
He's got a lot on there. Yeah, he's wrapping my arm. <laughs> yeah, reaching in. Yeah, not good. It's really, really hard. That parent, the heat had his brace on until I actually said, "Go get your brace because you, you could." He's it's so heavy and he's wild and he's freaking out and doing all this stuff and doing all that, right? So covering the head, it, it kind of helped a little bit, but it didn't help a lot. Um, it's really hard to work with dogs that have been they've been quicked all over the place, uh, many years of quicking, and so this is where we're at. This is why we have that problem now. So. Uh, doing the aggressive animals, you want the pet parent to hold like that. Uh, try different things, try the towel. Um, things can still happen as you can see, but you can kind of see how, how aggressive it is and how you just need to have that expertise and working with the animal to get it done. Don't not want to help them get it done, but if you're afraid to work with an aggressive dog, don't. But um, really know what you're doing and try to pay attention to what you're doing. But that is working with the aggressive dog with the pet parent assist. So thanks for watching.